What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back on Thursday. We will be live streaming later. We'll be testing out some of these players. We're going to be spinning and seeing what we can do. If there is any good players in here, we do have a couple of coins to spin. But for me personally, lads, the best thing about this is Giroud who can actually play in goals. This is hilarious. I mean, it's brilliant. And this is what the player of the week should be. They should be unique players that you can't buy anywhere else. There's no point having a player like Giroud if you can buy the standard card on the marketplace for very similar stats or whatever. So I do actually like this, um, you know, especially that he's got a super sub as well, that you could bring him on as a goalkeeper or you could bring him on as a centre forward. I mean, look, it's a bit silly, obviously, but it is a bit funny as well. So I do appreciate that. And uh, you can, you know, obviously not going to be playing him in goals with 77 reflexes but it is still a bit of banter i mean especially this actually kind of changes things up a little bit as to where they might go with the player of the weeks or with kind of unique players that you can't get anywhere else so i do like that um you know up front obviously as a center forward he's pretty decent as a center forward target man he's got good player skills and of course he's got one touch pass long range shooting acrobatic finishing and area superiority with heading and rising shot and i do like the fact that he has 93 heading and 90 kick and power but that speed and acceleration you're gonna have to plant the ball on his dome lads uh in the air um so i do like this card i do actually like this card it's probably one of my favorite cards i'd love to have it just as a collector's kind of thing um but let's see what happens i mean if we do get him or not right we also have mctominy who's down as a center forward again this is where the game probably needs to go with unique cards and obviously being having cards that you might log in and get the cards and i understand that you know if somebody downloads the game um tomorrow or today and they're newcomers and they're like oh i never got the chance to spin for center forward mctominy or whatever i mean that's just kind of the look of the draw there needs to be something there to uh have people that are playing the game regularly and consistently there needs to be kind of like a little bonus for them every now and again and i do like this mctominy card again i'm not going to be playing him center forward but what this card actually opens up for you and i'll go through this in my live stream later is the fact that you could actually play a really cool sub tactic with these cards that are kind of utility players that have dual roles such as a center forward and then be able to switch him out to a cmf or vice versa so i do like these kind of cards again you're only going to get like a typical kind of center forward um a fox in the box with super sub fighting spirit area superiority and of course that is because mctominy got that brilliant win for us the other day but listen there's still a long way to go with united lads i'm not getting carried away right otherwise we do have a bombing who's down as your traditional center forward he's got inconsistent form uh i do like i do like the fact that alba's back kind of at his pace uh here even though he's 34 years of age but the balance is what kills this card lads and the fact that he's got inconsistent form he doesn't have super sub i don't think that he's good enough to start now listen if you actually play the event this week and you get your free spin um you know which we can see here it's very very easy to get a free spin on this because it is over here in the dream team events and then you just click into el Clasico, and the the event actually this one gets you a free european club championship card right so the european club championship we'll have a look at later but the player of the week i think is 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 only worth spinning really if you are a newcomer or of course you want to get those unique kind of players that haven't been released yet right otherwise we've got van de ven i know a couple of my boys were saying especially Terra was saying that he wanted to get one of these players um you know van de ven is a good player for a good center back very decent obviously you're going to be using him as your strong aerial defender rather than a versatile mobile defender they're the two defenders that i would always recommend i keep saying it if anyone ever asks it's always to have somebody that can play the ball on the ground and that has a bit of speed and mobility and somebody that you manually defend with a lot of the time and then another guy that you just kind of leave sit there such as van dyke varan any of those kind of big delict any of those big guys that can just kind of defend in the air and defend any of their main target men strikers right so pretty decent center back not the best stats i wouldn't be spinning but i know some people will we've also got our gregoria gregorio so this guy is just your traditional goalkeeper he's going to have 88 reflexes 88 awareness and 88 reach and uh it's not bad i mean on an a form but he doesn't have any player skills so it's a bit of a miss for me we also have parisi this guy is down as an attack and fullback again just kind of average apart from speed and stamina very very nice but the rest of his stats are just kind of average at this stage lads unless you are a brand new newcomer now i do like the fact this guy's blocker and pinpoint crossing with early crosser is his play style but at this stage if you do not have a top class right back um defensively i would definitely recommend wan Bissaka. if you don't have a, a top class left back or right back that's an attacking base player i would say Cancelo or else kyle walker or else uh, uh davies 
they're not that expensive to buy after playing a couple of events if you are a newcomer and if you have been playing the game for longer than a month or so you should have a better right back or left back than any of these players right we also have a uh, Raheem Sterling who hit a brace the weekend as well or the other day the other day uh, the other day the other day yeah so 91 speed 94 acceleration 89 balance which I really like I think down as a left winger Sterling is a bit of a demon his dribbling is really good one weakness for Sterling lads is his tight possession which is a really key stat for these small type players now he does have a lot of good player skills but he doesn't have the two main ones I would want on my winger which is double touch or else one touch pass and the fact that you can't give uh, Sterling any of those skills is a bit of a bust for me so I do like the fact that he can play any position up front uh, left right or up front as a center forward and I do like the fact that he can carry the ball from left to right midfield that's probably where I would play him um, is left midfield uh, I don't know why, but I just feel like he would have the engine to kind of do that. Even though his stamina is 77, you can just, just wheel him off at, at half time or whatever if he's ran too much. Uh, we also have Kingsley Coleman on the flip side of that. He can pretty much play the exact same positions as Sterling, and he's better in every position, every stat, apart, again, from that type possession. The balance is very even. He does have double touch. He does have flip flap. He also does have super sub. So this is the card to go for, I think, if you are looking for that immediate impact bench player um, that you've got the speed, acceleration, the balance, and the stamina, you can bring him on, uh, you know, maybe... 25 30 minutes to go and he will he will do things for you right we also have lino this guy is pretty decent as well i mean a lot of those guys that they have left back right back uh they all seem to have the same kind of builds now you know either high dribbling or high passing average defense and then really high speed and acceleration so if you do have a better left or right back i do like the fact he's got track back if you wanted to play him a little further up the pitch but yeah only average as well i would say um because you can't give him any training point any training skills or anything like that and the fact that he does have one touch pass is nice but he doesn't have pinpoint crossing if you are going to be using him as a crosser which yeah i mean it's just a bit of a pity right and then last but not least lads we do have martinelli who is down here rocket fast 93 dribbling 83 balance 95 acceleration he's down as a left wing but he can play as a left mid i really like this card again he has super sub he's on a form this week you are going to be getting a lot of bang for your buck with this guy if you spin three and you get him including your free one then as well if you did spin him and you got him i think he's definitely worth having on the bench when he's on a form this week the a form players that seem to be playing better i think that's the way to go now i will do a video on that later on or else i'll go over in the live stream um and see what you think and then vatinia who plays for psg as a box to box personally for me he's not good enough i know he has one touch pass and double touch he's a bit of a baller he's got unwavering form i do like his card but i would definitely be playing him as an attacking midfielder because of the rest of his stats i mean defensively he is just woeful um his passing is really good his type possession is really good he's 100 percent a run and gun type attacking midfielder you know and even at that his speed and acceleration are quite poor so all in all as look it's a pretty disappointing player of the week selection but i do give him props for having unique players i mean this is what i've been calling for for a while there needs to be a reason to spin for the player of the week players if you've got multiple versions of the same card or you can just go into the market and buy a card identical to standard Giroud compared to this one. So at least with this one, it's kind of a rare card that if they ever do add a kind of a, a, a transfer market or something like that, cards like this might actually be worth a lot because they'd be quite rare. So that's just my thinking behind it. It adds to that for people that like to collect cards. But other than that, lads, we will be back later with a live stream. Um, the energy is back. We'll be back and hopefully you guys join me. So until then, we'll see you in a bit. It's going to be a long one. That's what she said.